Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Perry here and we are going to do a second video here, a little follow-up video on the Smooth Bommy. And as you can see, the Smooth Bommy has a sand bed. And I want to get into the particulars on how we're running the reef here. Um, so we did add the sand bed. I showed you the video on that. I told you I would be uh, like doing like a top dressing in between these corals as you can see right here I've added crushed coral Adding weight to the top of that sand so it doesn't kick up onto those corals And as you can see we wrap around to the front of the tank and you can see uh, all along the front there a thicker heavier coarse uh, crushed coral and the reason why you can see right here the reason why is these two large uh, Jabo pumps are uh, pushing full steam ahead um, and that's only at level four on the ELSE mode and as you can see uh, a pretty vigorous um, amount of water moving on top here yeah, and flow, flow would be one of those key parameters that we want to make sure uh, is dialed in um, and that we're getting plenty of it. Now, you know, when you drop down on the balmy, you can see that there's, you know, not a whole lot of rock. And with that in mind, uh, the structure itself allows for a lot of water to move in and out. Uh, hence the reason for, you know, dropping the crushed coral in between um, those corals which were all individually mounted corals so then ultimately the effect will be the crushed coral will begin to build coralline algae on it and as it does it will actually take on more of a rock structure and then you'll start to see more uh, what would presumably look like uh, one rock structure uh, versus um, the sand you see in between the corals and then you would see the outer uh, area of the balmy, if you will, would be uh, would be basically a sand bed. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the design. You know, now with with the aesthetics of the tank itself, and that it's you know a perfect, well not perfect, it's almost a perfect cube, uh, but it is a shallow design. And with that in mind, I don't need a lot of pumps, especially with a sand bed. So I was able to pull two pumps out by um, adding the sand bed, so I've um, lessened the amount of energy. Uh, so yeah, these are little things we can get away with, and um, you know, it's just a different philosophy, right? So uh, still getting plenty of flow to the corals, um, but with bare, bare bottom, you, you need the extra pumps to keep it off of the, the floor and in suspension constantly. And uh, that's not the case when you're running sand. So, so yeah, so now I can free up, you know, all my panels and, and just have nothing but a three panel open um, balmy design. And I really uh, think that this fits this tank. So, you know, a lot of times when we're setting up our tank, you know, I would say just don't try to force a round peg through a square hole. Try to make the best out of what you got to work with. If you have a tall tank, do a tall column type of design. If you've got a shallow tank, you want to work a shallow type of reef. You know, again, you want to work with the design of the, the tank. This tank here, uh, I am, uh, I've always been into cubes. I had a cube before back in the day. Um, and this space right here is just absolutely like it was meant in my home for a cube now if I could stretch it to 40 by 40 that would be a, a much better footprint and I'd be a lot happier having a little bit more space but 36 by 36 by 20 offers you know they uh, based on innovative marine 112 gallons it's a it's a fairly decent size uh, that being said the uh, fish need to be uh, scaled to the reef so the antheas uh, are still relatively large fish for the reef um, but you know the fox uh, face which was removed was way too big so it kind of descaled the tank so now you see 
uh, the, 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 the reef structure actually beginning to look like a reef structure with more fish that are built to scale uh, for the size of the tank as well. So again, this is, is more uh, natural appearing and a much better on the eye look. And so yeah, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Um, parameters are going lower. I am seeing a little general kind of funk on the reef as a uh, result of adding the sand bed, uh, sort of to be expected, right? But um, no big deal. Um, we'll work through that and be doing a little bit of uh, continued carbon dosing and bacteria dosing uh, using rebiotic, using the uh, BioS from Aquaforest in a snow that I uh, delivered to the, to the tank, a do-it-yourself calcium carbonate snow. Uh, so yeah. Also, I did add in a Royal Gamma, but I haven't seen it today. So he's probably still hiding in a while and acclimating to the tank. But yeah, this is the um, Smooth Bommy. Thank you for joining. I appreciate all the love out there, everyone. And uh, yeah, happy reef. And hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully I'll have some more updates to come. Next week, we will uh, return with the spotlight. And then um, look out for sessions in February. All right. Have a great day.